What's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about mass allocations. This is actually a redo of a video that I made about mass allocations 10 years ago. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a batch slash formula. We're going to upload JEs via ADI. We're going to check and post those JEs. Then we're going to generate the allocations, check and post that journal entry, and then we're going to validate the balances. Okay, so let's start. I will choose the general ledger super user. And to show you where this is, it's under define allocation. I already moved it over to the top 10. Give the batch a name. Let's give it a description. Let's save it. And now let's add the formula. Allocate rent for the administration cost center, which is that's the finance, the IT, etc. You'll see. So the first one, all different ways to elaborate these out. But look, I'm looking for rent expense because that's what we're going to allocate. And now in the cost center, notice I'm going to choose distribute admin costs. So all the rent is booked to that one cost center throughout the month. Notice I chose looping. And it's cost center 1000, which is the parent. Here we're going to choose the same account information, except this time we're going to choose sum, as you saw. Save that. Change these to statistical. Next up is the target, which is all of the different cost centers underneath that parent. Again, cost centers 1000. All right, and this one's looping. And this is the offset, which is basically where all the money was booked to start with. The same as A. Notice here, A and O are the same. Okay, I'm going to change that to year to date because square feet, so to speak, which is what we're allocating it based on, doesn't change. Shows is not validated, so let's validate it. Let's close that down. And notice one validated batch. Let's close that down. Let's go back in, search it up. Okay, notice validated here. We'll could take a quick look at the formula and it's also validated there. Now I'm just going to pre-check the account inquiry for the accounts that are going to be affected. You'll notice there's nothing in any of these accounts. I'm also going to check the journal, show there's no journal entries. Now, let's go over to ADI. I've got these two journals loaded up. This is the one that books the square footage based on the statistical. And you can see I've got it allocated up to 20,000 square feet and it has all of the different cost centers. Now to upload this, we uploaded with unbalanced because there's only debits. Wait for confirmation, six rows in. Now we'll go over and book the rent and you'll notice it's all to that one distribute admin cost, which are booking all the costs to the one cost center the entire month for rent. Let's upload that one. This time we'll upload both debits and credits. Wait for it to complete. Success. Okay, we can close that down. And now there's the first and there's the second. So we have two journals 
There, notice all debits, 20,000, all elaborated out to the, diff to the various cost centers under the 1,000 parent. Stat is the currency, and we'll post it. Close that down, and now let's go look at the rent journal. I've booked us two accruals for the fun of it, and notice distribute admin costs as the cost center. Let's post that. Okay, we'll query this up. That one's posted. And we'll requery that. Processing and posted. And we'll take another quick look and we're all good. Now let's go back and we'll validate that these journals have populated balances in the various accounts based on the cost centers. In other words, stat, square feet. See that? Square feet across the board. All the different ones got their square feet. Right there. And then the last one, you'll see there's in dollars, 100,000 booked to that one cost center. Now, this is where all the magic happens. Go over, generate, allocation. Let's indicate the balancing segment. Choose the formula and batch and generate. Let's go up to requests and search it out. And it completed. So let's go take a look. Notice, created a batch. And it gives you the batch name. And then the, the log. And you zoom all the way to the bottom. And completed successfully. It's all good. Close that down. Now let's go over to the journals. Let's search the allocation category and you see we have an unposted journal. Now, all the dollars have been allocated to the various cost centers and the, and the booking of 100,000 to that one cost center, 1999, has been zeroed out. So we post that, close that down, query, wait for posting. And it's posted. Okay, take a quick look. There you go. All allocated. Now we'll go back, close that down, to account inquiry. Same accounts. And we'll search them up. And you'll notice now at the bottom the rent in that 1999 is zeroed out and all the various cost centers that belong under the parent 1000, the FICO, the HR, IT services got their parts. So this is all based on allocating using the stat and square feet. So there we have it, mass allocations start to finish. So that's gonna do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today and I will catch you in the next one.